Berkeley, California, where anti-fascist protesters chased, attacked, and beat Trump supporters as thousands of demonstrators descended on Martin Luther King Civic Park. The event was branded as a peaceful stand against hate rally, but quickly turned into the opposite. It came after organizers had canceled a separate anti-Marxist rally, citing concerns over safety. The Los Angeles Times linked to this video posted on Twitter, which purported to show Antifa members beating down an apparent alt-righter. Berkeley has seen a number of clashes this year between political opponents, some surrounding controversial speakers on campus. Officers reported at least 14 arrests over the weekend. Nick, uh, this, is, this is an ongoing problem, ongoing problem in Berkeley especially, where uh, members of the far left are using violence to shut down free speech uh, and there to, to shut down demonstrators. Look, this is new. This is not just uh, scuffles between rival protesters, right? This is shutting down someone else's speeches with a violent assault. Now, you saw the guy in the red shirt there appear to be trying to help the guy on the ground. Mm -hmm. I think he was a different protester. Well, I, but it, it's it's revolting. And might have been a reporter. I, I don't know. Or maybe it was a different well, protester. But you know. Horrible. Also, you know, the police. I mean, when the police see these guys coming in with with masks, they need to do. I think they did it in Auburn, Alabama, maybe four or five months ago. Take your mask off. Yeah. yeah. Take your mask off because you have a history of beating people and hiding behind that mask. Take your mask off. Also, I, I resent the branding of these as anti-fascist protesters. They are nothing if They're not fascist fascists. in their behavior. They're yeah. fascists in their behavior, aren't they? There's nothing anti-fascist about that. But it gets to the, a larger issue that you referenced, and it's the, uh, the suppression of free speech on college campuses that is getting to near epidemic proportion. Yeah. Well, I, I this is a very extreme version of that beyond yeah. uh, speech codes. This but, is violence. But, but who was it? Was it, I, you know, and I, I, I'll just say it, I find her speech deplorable. Oh. Ann Coulter, I think she had to have a speech exactly. canceled, but you know what? She had a right to give a speech. Uh, it, it, there were several others that, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Milo, I can't pronounce his last name. Uh, yeah, Panopoulos. Okay, well, thank you. But, 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 but do you remember the, 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 the fires that were started and the violence was being started? Like, the question is, and I don't know. Yeah, there's so this a line, is, though. So this is an innocent question. Yeah. Who is running Berkeley? And why can't they protect free speech? Listen. What's your problem in Berkeley? Why can't you protect free speech? If you need me to help you out, we can get some people <laughs> that will actually protect the First Amendment. Okay? You know where we are. Call us. We'll help you. But this sort of thuggery going on in your streets, on your college campuses, is an absolute disgrace. I'm look, sorry, if, I was going to say, look, if you, <laughs> if you hate Ann Coulter, if you hate Milo, the worst thing you can do to them is not show up to yeah, their speech right. and ignore it. Right. I mean, the, but, but the second best thing you can do for them, after agreeing with them, is to show up, protest, shut them down, and give them the theater that helps them show that you are the actual free speech oppressor. This only, this only helps people. This only helps extremists on, on the other side. The, the root of this is kind of interesting. I mean, part of it began a few years ago at, on the campus of Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island, when then police commissioner right. Ray Kelly from New York was going to speak to Brown University students, and they balked and protested his appearance, and his appearance was withdrawn. What about Condi Rice? There you go. Condi Rice had to yeah. balk to not go. Christine Lagarde. I mean, it's crazy. These are not <laughs> all right extremists. What happens is the and logic of this is that the circle of prohibited speech yeah. becomes wider and wider and it wider. It keeps Correct. expanding. And again, if I am a president of one of these universities and their protests against Condi Rice or Christine Lagarde to come speak, or, or if if look what happened up, um, where was it? Where the, the professor had the, well, had her neck wrenched? Right, the Charles Murray speech. The Charles Murray say, speech. For, but what's going to become of these mentally stunted 
snowflakes at these colleges. Like, who, who wants to hire a child who, who is so offended by all of these things, you know, that are, they're going to encounter? Guess what? When they turn up at work, they're going to hear some Republican-leaning views. I'm, so, I'm so offended by Kanye West. I can't yeah. even bear to yeah, hear exactly. it. Who ever said that? By the way, by the way, yeah. All their life. yeah. Mike, uh, just, <laughs> so just, just for you mentally <laughs> so studded <gifted>. snowflakes <laughs> You're so on the gifted. far left, <laughs> let me explain something to you. When Everybody I grew, loves you. When I grew up, <laughs> I didn't read the National Review because I agreed with the National Review. I read the New Republic. I didn't read the Wall Street Journal editorial page when I was growing up. I read the New York Times editorial page when I was growing up because I knew what they were saying on the Wall Street Journal editorial page and I agreed with it. Like this mic is part of the reason why Democrats have become so disconnected and yes it is. It is part of the reason why Democrats have become so disconnected with America because a large part of them have lived in you know, the SNL skit after the election, the bubble, where you can live in a bubble, <laughs> the Brooklyn bubble. I mean, no, oh, no, 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 there are bubbles on the right. There are bubbles on the left. But right now, we're just talking, we, we have spent a lot of time talking about that other bubble. We're talking about the bubble on the left now and specifically on college campuses and the snowflake culture that's being created, Mike, that will, in the end, it will hurt the left well, that, if they continue to coddle them and, and not throw those people in jail. Nothing puts a bigger smile on Steve Bannon's face than the violence no, that no we fun. just saw oh, yeah. and this, this snowflake culture that Jonathan referenced right. on college campuses and taken up in part by some elements of the Democratic Party. Nothing puts a bigger it smile It keeps on happening in Berkeley. Who is in charge out there and when are you going to defend Give them the free phone speech? Number, yeah. Come on. I don't need okay. to give you your number. Every you can find people out there. Every snowflake gets first place. You're all winners. You're all winners. I there are no winners. Hour. You're also good. <laughs> you Such are. perfect children. You really. Okay. We're so proud of you. And by the way, if anybody disagrees with you, they're wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you need to be thrown in jail if you do that again. Okay. Hit somebody on the head, go I straight to jail. Pain. Well, is there no law and order out there? Point made. You can't even say We're law good, and order, Joe. can you? I, okay. I suppose that's bad. That's threatening. Well that's threatening. done now. Oh, see, I, some snowflakes just melted because I said law and order. <laughs> All right. Do that Still ahead on Morning Joe, experts are already predicting losses of more than...